Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lenise. I post travel, Disney, and lifestyle content. So if that's your vibe, click subscribe. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is a Walt Disney World trip announcement. I'm going back to Disney World, you guys, and excitement is an understatement of how I'm feeling. I have been counting the days since I thought about going back to Disney. Um, now, from the time I bought this trip to the time when I'm actually going, it have only have been a five month wait. But for me, that's a long time in like Disney time, you know, because especially for me, like I'm watching all these recent YouTube videos and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. Like I keep up with the Disney community whenever I have, you know, Disney blues. And um, even though they're really focusing on um, the festival of the holidays, which is not relevant to me right now um i still feel like oh my gosh like i wish i was there you know but the countdown is officially on today is saturday december 10th on monday the 12th it will be officially 30 days and i'm so excited i love a 30 day countdown um for me it goes by very quickly but still not quickly enough so i'm going to share with you all the details of my trip i of course again encourage you to click subscribe and click on the bell notification so you don't miss a single video if disney trips are your thing i would assume they are because you're watching this video all right so let's get right into it so the dates of the trip are thursday january 12th through monday january 16th january 16th I personally don't count for this trip because we're leaving very early morning. <laughs> so altogether, it's a three and a half day, four night trip. That is Martin Luther King weekend. So it is going to be a holiday weekend. So I'm assuming crowds would be busier than normal as it is still mid-January where crowds aren't high. Um, but because of the three day weekend, I'm assuming <laughs> it's gonna be busy. And also it's the opening weekend of the Festival of the Arts in Epcot, which I've personally never been to. So holiday weekend, opening Epcot Festival, I picked the best time to go. <laughs> I'm still looking forward to it. I have never traveled to Orlando or Florida in the winter months, at least that I can remember. So it's gonna be very interesting. I always wondered what winter was like in Florida. Um, I am in New York and winter up here is brutal. Um, so I've always been curious to see what it would be like, you know, down there, like how cold is cold down there. So I guess we'll see. I'll definitely fill you in once we're there. I am going with one of my best friends, Hope. She's never been to Disney. So I cannot wait to show her all of the magical things that Disney World has to offer. Um, she is not like a big Disney fan like me, but she loves the Disney movies. Um, she likes Marvel. She's a big Star Wars fan. So there's going to be a lot of things that she's going to be able to appreciate about the parks. Um, and you know, we've never vacationed together at all. So this is a new first for us. So I want to say like, I don't know, a month ago, she came over to my place. Oh, by the way. This is a new background. Um, my fiance Christian and I just bought our first house ever. So um, yes, <laughs> and I don't know where I'll be filming all my videos. Uh, this is the very first video that I'm filming since we've moved in here a couple of weeks ago. Um, so right now I'm in my office. So if the lighting's off or the background's a mess, I'm sorry, but like we're still kind of in the middle of obviously like just like settling in, moving, um, and I don't know where to film really. So I just chose this spot. But she came over to our apartment a month ago and we had a Disney planning session day and I sat her down and I made an actual presentation on Keynote and put it on the TV because I'm very type A and I showed her you know, what each individual park had to offer, Disney Springs, all the restaurants, just everything, attraction shows. I asked her a lot of questions, like does she need coffee in the morning? Does she wanna meet and greet with characters? Everything, just so I know, you know, how to plan the trip accordingly. Um, I'm always planning pretty much like every minute, every hour um, of, vacations when I go with people or like Disney vacations and Disney trips when I go with people but I'm feeling different this trip so we have the mornings planned we have most of the evening planned but in the middle of every day the afternoons it's kind of up to chance which may prove to be difficult because Genie Plus is out now if you don't know what it is I'll probably like 
link a video that would be helpful to you i'm not gonna get into jd plus because jd plus is annoying and i really hate it and it's one of the reasons why i'm not looking forward to this trip however it kind of forces you to plan you know you can't really have a spontaneous morning at least but i think you can probably have a spontaneous afternoon and that's what i'm striving for so i lost my train of thought um i honestly forgot what i was saying i should keep on track i have my notes here but yeah she came over for a planning session day i gave her some gifts i like to try to give some gifts to whoever's coming with me to a disney trip um if i can just to get them excited and in the spirit of going to Disney. So I gave her ears, I gave her shirts and a lot of stuff and it was great. Um, I made us some like lunch themed after uh, Toy Story Land and so like I made us the Woody's Lunchbox grilled cheeses with tomato soup and tater tots. They were so good and I made us Yoda soda cocktails. That was a great day. We got a lot done. Now that it's under 30 days, well, it's about to be under 30 days, um, I've got our dining reservations, our park passes are good to go, so I wanna share with you the details of that trip. So the whole reason why we're going in January is because of Festival of the Arts. But now that I know that it's the opening weekend, I don't know if I wanna like stay there too much. It's gonna be crowded and congested, and not to mention it's the three-day holiday weekend. So I don't know how often we'll be in Epcot, but I definitely wanna stop by. I've never been to the festival, so I think it'll be worth it to stop by at least once. If you don't know what it is, Epcot has festivals all throughout the year. So in the winter non-holiday month, they have Festival of the Arts. In the spring, early summer, they have Flower and Garden. In the late summer and all the way to like early winter, they have um, Food and Wine, which is the longest festival they have. And then for the holidays, they have the Festival of the Holidays, which is going on right now. So um, that's the other one that I've never been to. So after Festival of the Arts, I'm gonna try to get some Festival of the Holidays, and then I would have been to all the festivals. Let's go to Park Passes. So we are going, like I said, for three and a half days. So when we first get there um, for like our travel day, uh, we are not going to any parks. I think we'll probably just go to Disney Springs or something. Um, so the first full day that we have, our Park Pass is for Magic Kingdom. I thought that was perfect for Hope's first time. You get to Magic Kingdom, you feel like you're at Disney and you're excited for the rest of the trip. So um, we have to figure out <clears throat> Genie Plus the day of. We can't even like think about it beforehand. We're just gonna have to wake up early and figure out which ride we wanna book. So um, we're gonna stay there for most of the day. Park hopping used to, I think, begin an hour into your day or maybe whenever but now because of the 2020 shenanigans uh we cannot park hop until 2 p.m so we're gonna at least be in magic kingdom until 2 p.m maybe after and then i don't know what our afternoon's gonna look like um but i want to kind of end up in hollywood studios at the end of the day so that we can watch fantasmic which just recently came back from the 2020 closures it came back in early november so um, they've updated it and add some new scenes, so I'm very excited to see that. But even if we don't get to see it, it's not going to make or break the trip, so I don't know where we'll end up. But at the end of our first park day, we have dinner reservations to Ohana. Ohana is my absolute favorite uh, dining location in all of Walt Disney World. Of course, I haven't eaten at a lot of dining locations at Walt Disney World, but Ohana was the best dinner that i've ever had there i still compare regular dinners that i have like here back home to ohana it was that good i've been dreaming about it ever since i've had it so i was really excited when i got one um the only problem is it's not really a problem but like it's more of a preference thing it's at 9 50 at night <sighs> that that's late that's pushing it i never eat dinner that late especially a dinner that heavy but hope is all for it and she's excited i showed her the like uh, menu and videos about it so she's really excited um so i think we're gonna just snack throughout the day and hopefully by the end of the night we'll have enough room to eat that because it's a hefty dinner but i'm still excited i'm gonna try to see if i can get something a little earlier but it it's it's in the bag <laughs> The next day we have a park pass for Epcot. 
um hope is really excited to do epcot i think especially for the world showcase and you know again we have the festival and i actually didn't say this in the video yet but we're staying on site we're staying at art of animation and this is the first time that i'm ever staying there this will be the second disney location that i'm ever going to be staying at so i was really excited because i've visited art of animation just to have fun at the hotel you know with the larger than life statues taking pictures there just walking around the resort i've always wanted to stay there so i'm so excited that we finally get to do this and now that the skyliner is a thing it's just another mode of transportation very easy to get to epcot and hollywood studios so the second day um we're just gonna wake up go on the skyliner and we'll end up in epcot and it's gonna be great we'll end up in the world showcase side so i figure we can do remy's ratatouille ride which is another new thing that i've never done uh they've got frozen there and oh, Epcot's got Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and that's another thing that I've never done so there's a lot of new things on this trip that's just going to excite me even more to keep going back to Disney this is why I love returning because there's always something new each trip it is always changing I haven't been to the parks in a little bit over a year and I have all these new things to look forward to it's crazy um yeah we have Epcot that morning again don't know what we're doing the afternoon at night i thought we would go back to epcot they have the harmonious fireworks show which i still haven't seen um and then i thought we'd end the trip at magic kingdom to see enchantment again never seen enchantment but i'm thinking we might do enchantment the second night and then save harmonious for the final night since we're on the skyliner and i think it'll just make traveling easier i don't know I don't know what we'll do i think we're just gonna have to see how our afternoons go and then we'll decide what we're gonna do on the last two nights but the last day our last park pass for the third day is hollywood studios and again with hope being a star wars fan she's really excited for guardians of the um she's really excited for galaxy's edge rise of the resistance obviously we're going to be doing everything well hopefully because that ride always breaks down but gonna do our best to do everything there again the afternoon is open for now i definitely want to try to take breaks outside of the parks i want to you know hotel hop with her i want to maybe go back to disney springs or the boardwalk or something take breaks at our hotel i don't know what we're gonna do i have no idea but again the night would either end at magic kingdom or epcot so we don't have park passes for animal kingdom this trip however one of the afternoons i'm pretty sure we're just gonna hop into animal kingdom um so i definitely want to stop by there and at least ride everest see a show get a snack and then leave and of course flight of passage like that's a no-brainer i forgot to mention the dining reservations so we have ohana we also have Oga's Cantina in Galaxy's Edge for the last day and that's at 12 o'clock it was exactly when i wanted it i figured we're only going there for drinks and i don't want to drink necessarily at a time that says a.m so 12 p.m was a little bit more acceptable for me so i've never been to oga's so again new experiences it's gonna make this trip so much fun i'm basically just looking forward to again like all these new things even like the indiana jones show in hollywood studios it's not new but it's new to me so this is another opportunity for me to uh experience things that have always been there or has been there for a long time but i just haven't gotten around to it and then everything is going to be new for hope so this is going to be great um but i'm really looking forward to experience my old favorite things dole whips um space mountain big thunder mountain rock and roller coaster all my favorite rides um see my favorite shows again like festival of the lion king and the frozen show in hollywood studios um just being there you know and then all the new things of course as well so a couple of things that i wanted to like focus on a little bit at the end of every vlog once we're there are step count because i'm just very curious to see how many steps we're going to be able to complete in a three-day weekend i know that when i went for my big trip in 2019 we were there for like 10 days my best friend jasmine and i and I think we were averaging like 15 20 000 steps and then for food and wine festival i think the first time we were there for food and wine 
I did 32,000 steps and that is a lot that's that's the most steps I've probably ever done in my entire life so I want to see if we get that close especially with the festival there I don't know but um I want to focus on step count I want to focus on weather there since again like I've never been to Florida around that time of year so I want to focus on like what kind of clothes work best oh my god that is another thing that has been driving me crazy aside from genie plus trying to figure out what to pack what to wear what to bring to disney in the winter um i've seen blogs with pictures of two people standing next to each other in florida in disney one is wearing like all these bulky winter clothes and the other is wearing shorts so i i have no idea like i guess i'm gonna bring a mix but it's just very weird um i, I don't know <laughs> I don't want to bring big bulky you know coats and hoodies and all that stuff um, because during the day I hear it's pretty nice but again you might need long sleeves sweatshirts and everything so I've been like pulling out everything that I have I've been buying new things we're going to be focusing on if layers are a necessity during this time um, you know if you need to remove something during the day if you need to add something on at night so I'm gonna be focusing on the weather um, we're also going to be focusing on like how wait times are during a holiday weekend with an opening day festival or opening weekend festival. Um, with this being Martin Luther King weekend, it's not as, you know, crowded as like Christmas would be or Thanksgiving, you know, but it's still a three day weekend. So I'm very interested to see like what the wait times would be like um, and how generally busy the park is. And then the last thing that I want to focus on, I know it's a lot of things, but I definitely, of course, want to focus on Genie Plus. This is the first time that I'm going to be using it. So it's going to be interesting because since Genie Plus has come out in 2021 and by the time we're there using it, it would have changed countless of times. Like it keeps changing. They keep changing the rules. They keep changing how to do things. So I'm pretty sure from now until we get there, I'm sure there's going to be another change. They just made a change last week. So um, I'm going to be focusing on like how efficient it is, if it's worth the price, how easy it is to navigate, how hard it is to navigate, things of that nature. So I've talked your ear off enough, but that was the whole entire trip announcement. I think I've covered everything. Um, very excited, very looking forward to it. Of course, I'm going to be vlogging and you know sharing everything with you guys so definitely click subscribe because it's going to be such an amazing trip and even though it's only three and a half days i think we're going to get a lot done and i think the vlogs are going to be really fun and just really nice to watch and i mean there's not going to be just three vlogs i'm going to try to get a lot out there so definitely follow along because it's not going to be the last time i go to disney um and if you enjoyed this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up let me know when's the last time you've been to disney when are you going to be going to Disney next? Have you ever been? And if you've ever been during the winter, please help a sister out. Let me know what I need to be bringing. What should I be looking out for? Any tips or tricks would be great. Someone on TikTok told me to bring cooling towels and fans even though I'm going in January. So I, I honestly genuinely do not know what I'm in for. Hope says she's not bringing any sweatshirts. She's gonna bring shirts. I'm still bringing my like umbrella and stuff, but like, I'm genuinely confused. But <laughs> that is the end of this video. I'm gonna wrap it up here. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.